the marshal for you now, Quaba, Edoba, and Missy TV. Yes, and there, a cocoa PM or Bema Camp. Now, Bema Camp will be said, then, of course, so in Ho and I, Yadi initiative, just some friend greens plan day, a ho and I this initiative in the Ecoso. Now, a man Anka Sanka Sanado down Kwe Kufado, and the Minister for Land and Natural Resource, and so to be PM, a honorable Jinapo, or no, so be PM or Eddie this initiative. I'm fear, say three years ni and I'm fear that greens plan day, I say, ha, and Tinde, a president of Ghana, it will be PM. Ewo, eye bema camp and bon tin so chess it will be dre du or no ankasa present net to tune in nine. It will be dre dua HS okay. Ye forest reserve no or say will be say forest reserve ne de be say galam se niti in dra be brina se say as you say oh chira on chira south sudan e last year komu cross south sudan e school dan crabba kwa much as okay. Heater e wo south sudan no se mun to me cross south school dana a young kwala horn and shen ya near beto mono. And yen to move to me cruise. But now do I drink chair or the bar only in nature? So okay. This year no, or every pim or bema camp. Or shall bema camp on in the hall. From some could drink any be bema camp or count pan. Ah, a honorable after dinner pot. So next time I do two giants. Okay. Military furniture and a ball send a woman drink your choir. Nay, in your air five million. A will bema camp one ten. So many and easy. In that day, and I do one cast I see foam. A coffer so. And second, on one cast I could do two foam. A could be a dear. We were sending so good, so I watch us okay. This initiative, no way, fear say, I saw no man penny cry. I shall move canonically if say Ghana for you now. So a day or more giddy a better nature. Now this green plan day are on my year. Ah, my ya almost three years here. I'm moving for this initiative. Mufia, young co, young coach, how an anado, down quick for or rive a military for Nancasa, a day and yum, a genetata, a Obama camp in Bontenson. A bro, we are in his speech, so to do a coco tinina. Never cost to be here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. When I drop any new, you'll be a part of the family. I say thank you. Thank you very, very much, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, and Commander in Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, Nana Adudankwa Akufado the Honorable Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, as well as Member of Parliament for Damango, Honorable Samuel Abu Jinako, Ministers of State and Deputy Ministers of State, the Chief, the Chief of Defense Staff of the Ghana Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Thomas Upompipra, the representative of the Inspector General of Police, service chiefs and heads of other security services present here, the Director General of the CEO of the Forestry Commission, members of the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished generals and senior officers of the Ghana Armed Forces and the other security agencies, invited guests, members of the media fraternity, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. President, I'm delighted to welcome you and your entourage to Nichols, the famous Nichols Stadium here in Bemakam, where the 2024 edition, the Green Ghana Commemorative Tree Planting is being performed by your good self on behalf of the people of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, the Green Ghana Initiative, which I believe will be able to explain even better by the minister himself, which was instituted in 2021 upon the assumption of office of the current minister for lands, Honorable Samuel Abujinako, is part of an aggressive afforestation and reforestation program aimed at the restoring the country's lost forest and to inculcate the habit of free planting and nurturing among Ghanaians. The theme for this year's program, Planting for Greener Tomorrow, resonates with the values of the Minister of Defense and, of course, the Ghana Armed Forces. As we understand the critical importance of environmental conservation and sustainability in ensuring a secured and prosperous future for our dear nation Ghana. 
distinguished guests. Our forests are not only a source of natural beauty and biodiversity, but they also play a crucial role in national security and defense. Healthy ecosystems and abundant forests provide vital resources such as clean water, fertile soil, and natural barriers that protect our communities from natural disasters and external threats. By actively participating in afforestation efforts, we are not only preserving our environment, but also fostering our national resilience and security. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry of Defense and the Ghana Armed Forces are proud to contribute to this noble initiative as we recognize the significant role that trees and forests play in mitigating climate change and safeguarding our natural heritage. Through our collective efforts in planting trees, restoring degraded lands, and promoting sustainable land management practices, we are laying the foundation for a greener and more sustainable future for our dear nation. I call upon all members of the Ghana Armed Forces as well as the general public to wholeheartedly support and actively participate in this year's afforestation program and beyond this year. Let us demonstrate our commitment to environmental stewardship and embrace our responsibility to protect and preserve our natural resources for future generations and born. Together, we can make a difference and secure a greener tomorrow for Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to take this opportunity to entreat all ranks, civilian employees, families of our gallant soldiers across all the garrisons, to take advantage of the Green Ghana Day program to plant at least a tree in their homes, in their schools, in their churches, in their mosques, in their offices, amongst other locations, as you may find yourself today to support the National Afforestation Program. His Excellency, the distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, let me take this opportunity on behalf of the men and women of the Ghana Armed Forces and the civilian employees to welcome all of you to Bemakam and specifically this venue, Nekosi Stadium, for this important ceremony. Thank you very much. May God bless you all. Thank you. The Honourable Regional Minister, Minister for Defence, Ministers and Deputy Ministers of State, Chief of Defence Staff and other service chiefs, Representative of the Inspector General of Police, Chairman and Members of the Forestry Commission Board, Chief Executive Officer of the Forestry Commission, Nime Name, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, from 2021 through 2022 to 2023, President Akufuado has been with us each Green Ghana Day, leading the entire nation to plant trees as part of government's aggressive afforestation and reforestation program. And today, Friday, 7th June 2024, the Green Ghana Day, Mr. President has joined us again here at Burma Camp to lead the nation in this national tree planting exercise. After the first was held in Jubilee House, the second at Ifua Sutherland Park, and the third at the University of Ghana. Indeed, since assuming office, President Akufuado has demonstrated his unflinching commitment to environmental protection and sustainability, as well as the restoration of our age-old degraded forests and landscape. Mr. President, the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and I thank you profusely for your support in this consequential endeavor. We are also grateful to the Ghana Armed Forces and its leadership, particularly my senior colleague, the Minister for Defense, Honorable Dominic Nitewo, as well as the respected Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Thomas Opon Pepra, and all service chiefs for their immense contribution to the success of the Green Ghana Day 
since its inception. Through the lifting and distribution of siblings, their support to the work of the ministry, especially the fight against illegal mining, and for graciously hosting us this morning at this serene environment. And Mr. President, I am happy to report that today, the Ghana Armed Forces has committed to plant more than a thousand trees here at Burma Camp by close of day. Mr. President, since you charged us with the responsibility of protecting our forest resources and restoring our lost forest cover, we have worked under your guidance and leadership to make Ghana a global leader in forest management and nature-based climate action. At the 26th session of the Conference of Parties COP26 of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in Glasgow, we joined forces with the United Kingdom and the COP26 president, the Right Honorable Alok Sharma, to champion the Glasgow Leaders' Declaration on Halting and Reversing Forest Laws by 2030, as well as raise awareness on private sector climate financing through the Voluntary Carbon Market Initiative. As chair of two working groups of the Forest, Agriculture, and Commodity Trade Fact Dialogue, we work closely with the former UK Minister for Climate and Environment, the Right Honorable Zach Goldsmith, and the current UK Minister for Energy Security and Net Zero, the Right Honorable Graham Stewart, to advocate for striking a fair balance between forest protection and food production. Following Ghana's exemplary leadership on the FAC Dialogue and other international initiatives, we were made co-chair of the Momentous Forest and Climate Leaders' Partnership, FCLP, alongside the United States of America, and we have since worked intimately with the former United States Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, Secretary John Kerry, and his, and his successor, John Podesta. Already, Significant progress has been made under this initiative, with President Akufuado launching our Resilient Ghana Country Package at COP28 in Dubai, which was strongly endorsed by the COP28 President, His Excellency Razan Al Mubarak, and supported by the governments of Canada, Singapore, United States of America, and the United Arab Emirates. Mr. President, last year, Ghana became the second country in Africa and the third in the world to receive resource-based payments from the World Bank's Carbon Fund for reducing emissions under the Ghana Cocoa Red Plus program, which you kindly launched in the year 2019. At COP28, we signed a new emission reduction purchase agreement under the Lowering Emissions by Accelerating Forest Finance Leave Coalition, becoming one of just two countries to sign such a progressive agreement. And just last month, we signed a similar agreement with Talo Oil, replicating the global gains here in our country. To demonstrate our commitment to these global efforts, we are implementing several policies and programs here in Ghana aimed at protecting our forest cover, restoring lost ones, including the ban on the issuance of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, CITES permits the introduction of solar-powered wood tracking system and electronic property maps, the implementation of the Ghana Forest Plantation Strategy, the Forest Investment Program, the Ghana Red Plus Strategy, the National Alternative Employment and Livelihood Program, the Ghana Landscape Restoration and Small-Scale Mining Project, the Cocoa and Forest Initiative, and the Green Street Project. It's present, these initiatives are yielding results Last year, Ghana became one of few countries, alongside Brazil and Colombia, to record a decrease in the rate of deforestation. Our forest and nature-based climate efforts have indeed received global recognition. Distinguished guests, the Green Ghana Day has become one of the foremost initiatives towards restoration of our degraded forests and a practical demonstration of our commitment to nature-based climate solutions. Since its inception, some 42 million trees have been planted in both forest reserves and off reserves. Learning from previous experiences, we have consistently recorded an improvement in the survival rate, 
with 67% survival rate in 2021, increasing to 72% in 2022 and 81% in 2023. Apart from the millions of trees we plant each Green Ghana Day, it also serves as a reminder to our population about the importance of trees and the need to inculcate tree planting and sustainability in our daily lives. This is why we kickstart each Green Ghana Day with the One Student, One Tree initiative to imbibe in our students and the youth the culture of planting and nurturing trees. This year's edition of the Green Ghana Day was launched by His Royal Majesty Yana Abubakari Muhammad II on 16th April 2024 in Tantri Initiative at the Abuakwa State College in Chebi. The theme chosen for this year's Green Ghana Day seeks to emphasize the need to not just plant trees, but ensure the growth of these trees planted to contribute to the global effort at fighting climate change. Our target today is to plant and grow at least 10 million trees whilst taking measures to nurture the trees planted in previous years. We are counting on the support of all Ghanaians and residents of Ghana to join hands with us to make this year's Green Ghana Day a success. Adequate seedlings have been made available at various designated places across the country. And with your support, we are confident that as has been the case in previous years, we will exceed our target to get we will exceed our target today. We are put in place all the necessary measures to ensure that the rate of survival again increase this year. Nime, Name, Honorable Ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. In conclusion, as President Akufuado profoundly stated at COP28 in Glasgow, and I quote, there is an urgent need to restore our forest resources. We do not have tomorrow or the day after tomorrow to do this, end quote. It is imperative that we act now to restore our forests and save our planet. Quote, he who plants a tree, plants hope, end quote, says the American poet and author, Lucy Lacum. Joining forces together, we can give hope for a better, greener, a more sustainable Ghana. Let all citizens and residents of Ghana, therefore, join us to grow trees for a greener tomorrow. May Green Ghana stay with us forever. Green Ghana Day, let's go planting. I thank you for your attention. Chairman of the Lands Commission, Mr. Alex Quino, please make him welcome with a round of applause. Thank you. And so shortly we get to plant all these trees in a bit to promote a greener and healthier Ghana. By saying thank you on behalf of the Green Ghana Project and all her members, please make welcome the CEO of the Forestry Commission, John Alote. We are grateful to the Almighty God for seeing us through the ceremonial event of the 2024 edition of the Green Ghana Day. I wish to express my deepest gratitude to you, Mr. President, for graciously attending each and every Green Ghana Day since its inception in 2021. Mr. President, your leadership has elevated our collective efforts to protect
Yes. Who's next? Thank you. Yes. 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 Side, you go. Let's set your camera. Happy to watch us more. To the other side. To the other side. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 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 Yes.
Thank you. 